Hello everybody. In previous video, I have uh, 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 discussed that how we can drive the expenditure function. In this video, I'm, I'm going to talk about the Hicksian demand function and how we can drive it. Uh, basically, there are two more important uh, uh, methods that we can drive the Hicksian demand. First method is that we, we minimize our um, uh, expenditure function subject to the utility function that we have subject to direct utility function. So if we minimize that, the result would be the Hicksian demand function for good one and good two. Uh, to minimize that, I uh, set the, my Lagrangian here and take the first order conditions with respect to x1 gives me this equation with respect to x2 I take equation number two and with respect to lambda is my uh, 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 constraint here uh, equation number three by dividing uh, uh, equation one or equation two I uh, can simplify and get equation number four to do so uh, I already uh, explained that I use a very simple math rule or a magic simple math rule which says that x to the power of alpha is equal to 1 over x 1 over x to the power of minus alpha so given this math rule I can simplify uh, this equation and I get equation number 4 which is um, which is uh, uh, explain the uh, value of a uh, good 2 as a function of good 1 now, if I substitute equation 4 to equation 3 here, so u is equal to x1 to the power of alpha and x2 to the power of 1 minus alpha, and I simplify that here, here I get the uh, um, uh, Hicksian demand for good one. So the Hick so when I when I simplify that here, please uh, remember that at this stage, I uh, here I uh, find the value of x1 as a function of p1, p2, and u. At this stage, I call uh, uh, that a Hicksian demand. So this is not anymore Marshallian demand. This x1 is Hicksian demand because this is not a function of p and m. This is a function of price and utility. So this, since this is a function of price and utility, that's why I call it a Hicksian demand. And I denote uh, that with h1 instead of x1. So h1 as a function of p1, p2, and u is equal to this term, which is the value of my Hicksian demand for good 1. And this is a function of good, uh, p1, p2, and utility, level of utility. So now if I substitute equation uh, f uh, 5 to equation f into equation 4, then I will be able to get the... And so here is... Uh, x1 or h, h1 uh, so uh, x2 uh, is equal to this term and I simplify that continue to get here so x2 becomes equal to this term here x2 is equal to this term and at this stage I call that since this is a function of pure price and uh, utility, I call that Hicksian demand for good two. So this is Hicksian demand for good two, which is p1 over p2 to the power of alpha, one minus alpha divided by alpha to the power of alpha times uh, utility. Uh, okay, this one was the first method. So in first method, uh, basically we minimize our uh, we minimize our expenditure subject to the utility uh, to subject to the direct utility function and the result would be Hicksian demand for good one and good two but the second method that is much more uh, simpler and it's kind of shortcut method is Schiffer's lemma for the uh, Schiffer's lemma says that the uh, the Hicksian demand for good i is equal to derivative of uh, expenditure function with respect to uh, price of good i so uh, to use the Schiffer's lemma, actually, we need to have access to the expenditure function. In this series of video that I have um, uh, uh, posted, uh, I've already uh, uh, I, I, I've already derived the expenditure function, and this is here. I just repeated here. If you remember, uh, that is here. Yeah. So here is uh, here is my expenditure function. I know this. Uh, expenditure functions since I know the value of that then I just need to get the derivative of uh, expenditure function with respect to price of good one and good two 
There's a, a for simplicity when I drive the the, the value of uh, uh, when I drive the expen uh, the uh, actually when I get the, when I'm getting the uh, the derivative of expenditure function for simplicity I rewrite this term in a more simplest in a more simple uh, uh, way which is this one so again I use the this this simple magic rule. So um, then there, uh, I apply the uh, Schaeffer's lemma here. Derivative of uh, expenditure function with respect to P1 gives me the uh, Hicksian demand for good one. This is equal to this term here. And simplify that, get this term. I apply also this simple magic rule here and then this term. This is exactly the the uh, exactly the the Hicksian demand for good one that I've already derived in in previous in the first part of my explanation. So here, see, equation number five is exactly equal to uh, this term Hicksian demand for good one. And by the same method, I can take the derivative of expenditure function. Oops, sorry. Here should be derivative of expenditure function with respect to good 2 and I get this value which is uh, equivalent to the uh, previous method that I uh, applied by minimization of expenditure function. Okay.